If you guys have a Porsche Cayenne and if your window doesn't stay up, it just keeps falling down, stay with us, we'll explain how we can easily fix that today. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Porsche Cayenne. We're talking about this generation right here from year 2002 to year 2010. If your window on the trunk, on the lift gate doesn't stay up when you open it guys, stay with us, we'll explain how we can easily replace the strut supports, the shocks, so that your window will stay up, it will not just drop. Uh, it will be really convenient, so stay with us, we'll explain how to do that step by step today. Now we recommend to do both of them at the same time those are the main shocks for the tailgate as well because they will be right next to each other before we guys start on it let let me explain a little bit about us every single car we get here at the garage guys we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you how to fix pretty much anything why we do that guys because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos and if you need to buy any parts tools struts shocks supports for your Cayenne at a really good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from so let's go ahead and start on it now so whether you guys are replacing the main strut shock supports on the lift gate or the window shocks guys the procedure is practically the same we we'll recommend to do both of them at the same time otherwise you'll be redoing the job again you don't want to do that guys okay because it will take a little bit of work so let's go ahead and explain what we need to do now so now guys we have our headliner removed why because our was sagging so we decided to redo our headliner we did the alcantara style headliner which is amazing by the way and also uh, uh, while it was down and we redid it okay we have one piece of fuzzy here we guys did the starlight kit on it as well so 300 starlights installed here we'll have video coming on that as well if you want to see how to remove the headliner the video will be on our channel you don't have to remove it but you may need to drop it down okay to get to it we will explain why right here now guys okay let us show you uh, when you open the trunk okay you can see the headliner usually will be here you have these two covers that's where your shocks will be now i'll get the uh, screwdriver in just a second but let me show you something i left it uh, there okay let me open here let's hold here for a second okay and i want to show you here okay uh, if you try to look through the hole you practically don't see almost anything you see the top of the shocks but you don't see them you cannot pull them out and on this side as well uh, we have the other cover removed but i think we will not need to even remove that cover let me grab the screwdriver quick and show you okay what we will need to do now so i'll come to the inside now and here we have one cover that we need to remove okay that plastic thing here so one screw with torx 25 i think one over there careful that's the airbags airbags can kill you guys so no metal tools around them don't mess with the wires because it can explode okay let's see if that mount will come down okay if we have one more one more three screws so remember how you remove them because that's how we will need to install everything later as well perfect now if you come right here and right here guys this is one of the covers <laughs> this one has been redone i think it has black glue i'm not sure it's kind of like okay cracked here so it's fine we're going to glue it later again so we'll grab it from here and pull it out and right here guys that's where your struts are both of them one on top one on the bottom so how do we guys okay how do we guys remove those okay let's explain that now we're going to start with the little one so the little one i'll just get a prying bar now okay and i'll have a person open the window on the outside okay let's go ahead on the outside and open the window it needs to be in an open position guys okay open position so let's go ahead and open the window all the way okay you cannot okay yep okay open open okay like that okay let's see now uh, right here you see you have that metal plate that we need to pull out with a small screwdriver 
so let me see if I can grab it now here it's very limited room by the way I almost got it ha don't go back in okay that one came out on this side and I should be able to pull it out perfect you can see it came out now let's bring it down a little bit down 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 now okay so oh, oh, a little bit more okay perfect we can close it so now I can grab that plate on this side oh no 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 bring it down because I cannot reach like that it's gonna break my fingers here okay and and this one came out guys okay you can see that choke is out perfect we can get another one now okay let me not drop it because okay i'm gonna get everything dirty with grease so all we have to do now grab the new one okay let me pull one out and we're going to continue now installing it so let me see okay the other one will come in the other way okay uh, which direction I pulled it out now so let me see if I can come here now if I can fit through here okay perfect one is out now we need to go outside we need to open the window all the way once we open it I'll be able to push that part here on the inside so let me see if we can do that let me set the camera where you can see open 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 and still needs a little bit more let's see if we can pull both of them maybe we together with the uh, with the trunk lid okay because it's still a little bit long so let's pull a little bit with the trunk lid together okay uh, pull more okay a little bit more ah, it's right there so all I have to do is just push it in, but I don't need two hands for that, so let me see that. So we open the window only, guys. Okay, with the window only, and one person will keep holding it to where it can adjust. Okay. Let's see now. A little bit up. Okay. It went in. Okay, one is in. So now we replaced only one. And let, let, let us show you something. Okay, I got tangled here. Give me one second. With only one window, guys, with one window shock replaced, okay, the window doesn't stay up. It's better, but it doesn't. Let's go ahead and explain. Uh, do actually this, uh, the same thing to the other one and see if that will fix it. Next, uh, we're going to go ahead and open the trunk. We're going to do that big one now, guys, okay, because uh, otherwise, Okay, we, we want to be done here to make sure that you don't have to do them in specific order. We're going to remove that spring now here. Okay. This one should come out now. If I get the prime tube, let me see now. Okay. I think it it's about to come out maybe let me see if the spring is here a little bit still holding yep it's still holding that spring came out okay on that end let's support it there no let's go in let's go all the way in now we, we can close it okay perfect close 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 all the way yeah like that now i can go ahead and disconnect that spring on top and the whole shock came out guys okay right there big mess watch all the oil that they leaked out okay i'm going to get a new shock now for the trunk okay let me get a replacement one quick and we're going to see okay to install it now to make sure the uh, ball joints are clean we're going to go ahead get this one in 
Okay, now we need to go on the outside. We need to open the trunk. Okay, and once we open the trunk, okay, it should. We should be able to come here a little bit more, if we can, yep. Okay, wait now a second. A little bit more. Okay, I need to just get the prying tool now to push it in. Okay guys, I just pushed it with my hands while one person was prying on the trunk all the way up. Now, uh, it still falls. We're going to do the same thing on this side now, not to waste your time and see if that will fix the problem. So we guys replaced both of them here as well. You can see both of them are brand new. Let me come on the outside now. I want to show you. Okay, let's close everything. Close it, open the window. Let's see if it stands up now. Perfect, you can see that took care of that problem. Let's see if we can open the trunk. If it's gonna stand up. Careful, it might take your nose off. It, stays, it flies pretty fast because everything is brand new. So, that's how you guys fix trunk that doesn't stay open or uh, the window that doesn't stay open here on a Porsche Cayenne. So that's how you guys fix it. Uh, now, we recommend to always replace the window and the tailgate strut sets at the same time, all four of them. Why? Because they tend to fail about at the same time, guys. You don't want to be doing the job again. Ours, all four failed practically in about less than one year. So we recommend to do them together. Now, uh, if you want to see anything else specific on Porsche Cayenne, we have more than two, 300 free repair videos. We took almost the whole car apart. Uh, anything from weak spots, okay, to maintenance as well. If you want to see all the fuse videos, that will be on our YouTube channel, Electrical Car Repair Live. Right there, guys. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.